When you think about super motocross tracks, you probably think about jumps, turns, overall layout, and of course the terrain. But what really gives each track its unique character is the dirt. When you come to outdoors, I mean, the biggest thing they do is they just prep it a little deeper, but it's always the same dirt from where that location is. So if it's harder packed, it needs more water. And then if it's softer, it doesn't need as much water, but that loaminess is what keeps it as soft as it is. I'd say the best dirt would be more like a red sandy clay is usually the better dirt. It kind of holds together nice, but ruts real good. But uh, you can make any dirt good if you put enough time into it. High Point's a pretty uh, heavy clay material. A little bit of topsoil in there, but we do add a lot of organic material, sawdust, and, and then in the fall, we like to put straw or grass in the dirt, so that way it rots over winter and makes the soil a little bit better for the next season. We like to use a heavier clay on the jumps, and then we like a more loamy material for the straightaways and the corners if possible. So at High Point here, we do add a lot of sawdust. That way the, the, the dirt will stay softer throughout the day and move more. When the dirt's too soft, you just have everything moving underneath you. You're trying to gas it, your tires just dig. You know, it's not on top of the dirt just going forward. When you go out in that soft dirt and there's no bumps or anything, it's fun. But if it's soft like Southwick, it's going to be bumpy by the end of the day. And that's what makes it so tough on us. Sometimes you're just dealt with what you're dealt with. Like this weekend here, we had a, almost an inch of rain last night, you know, after we had already had the track prepped, so. If it rains the night before Unadilla, that sponginess that you have in the morning is hard as a rock by the end of the day. And the way that stuff dries up, the mistakes come easier. For me, anything that rips over 12 inches is the way to go. A lot of guys rip a top eight inches and then they prep the top eight inches and it's not a bad thing, but uh, it's a little easier when you get the moisture deep and as the day goes, the moisture comes to you versus it's just on the top and goes away. 